Welcome everybody and thank you for tuning in to another episode. Today I'm in Belisi, the capital of the country of Georgia, and I'm in a restaurant called Chashnagiri, which means chili in the local language. Now I'm going to order some traditional food and I'm going to show you what the locals eat here because the food here is absolutely amazing. So today we're going to be ordering hachapuri, which is a traditional meal here. It's got cheese and an egg and butter on the inside and a bread kind of outer coating on the outside. We're all also going to order some chinkale, which are basically like a pastry filled with soup and meat. And what you do is you bite it, drink the soup, and then eat it. Okay, everybody. So I've just been given my aja ruli hachapuri, which is this bread kind of outer layer. With inside is cheese, butter, and egg. This is actually originating from the south western corner of the country of Georgia from the Ajaruli and Batumi region. Now one interesting fact that my friend just told me about butter, why there's a big stick of butter in here, and that's because that region is heavily making butter and people would often eat a lot of it to not be hungry as they would be out in the fields all day working. Now I'm going to take my hand, I'm going to just kind of rub it in here, get a nice big piece of cheese, okay here we go. Mmm, mmm. Wow, that is so good. The cheese definitely has a little more of like a, a soury kind of flavor to it, a little salty, soury flavor, but it's really, really good. And the egg almost gives it, the, and the butter gives it this buttery, kind of liquidy feel. Man, it's just, it's really interesting. There's really not much like this in the Western world. Let's take another bite. Mmm. Wow, that is so good. So when you're here, you must try the Ajapuri Hacharuli. No, wait, I messed that up. So when you're here, you must definitely try the Ajaruli Hachapuri. Definitely. Okay, guys, so right here I have Hinkali, which are a traditional dumpling that has soup and meat inside. But it's really important that I explain to you the proper method of eating these things. So first you pick it up by the kuch, which is this piece here. Then you bite a slight piece of it and always be aware it's almost certainly really hot on the inside. Oh, I've only taken a small bite of the outer pastry, okay? I'm going to blow a little bit inside because there's hot soup. Now the next step is I'm going to drink the soup that's inside because if I didn't and I tried to bite it, all that soup's going to dump on me. So we're just going to drink it. Okay, I'm fairly certain we got all the soup. Okay, now we can go ahead and bite into the rest of it and the meat dumpling that's inside. Mm. It's so good, the meat is really soft, almost like a hamburger. Now we're gonna add one more thing, this is dehmali. It's like a red tomato sauce with um, garlic and stuff like that, and onion. We're going to add just a little bit inside for some flavoring, just a bit. And now we're going to eat the rest of it. Mm. The sauce adds a garlic, oniony feeling. Keep in mind, you do not eat the little part you grab from. This is just like all dough, and the locals, none of them will eat this part. So you just discard it. And that is how you eat chengkali. Oh my god, you guys. I am so full. Food coma. I think I'm gonna go take a nap. Alright guys, so we are at dinner and I got something really interesting. This is traditional food. First, let's talk about the traditional salad. This is cucumber, onion, uh, tomatoes, and walnuts that are grated right on top along with some, uh, some other spices. But this is really what I'm interested in. This is Magrillian Kharcho, which is baked beef, baked walnuts, and special uh, Georgian spices that are mixed together along with this paste. So let's give it a try. Oh, the meat's very soft. Mmm. You definitely get a hint of the walnuts for sure, the meat for sure. And you also taste something that there's like a third flavor in there, almost like a tomato or something. It's really, really interesting, man. If you guys have a chance to try, definitely get this plate. Good luck.
See you later. This is chuchkhela. For us foreigners, they call it Georgian Snickers. It's made from young grapes and has either walnuts or nuts inside. And it comes in either red or white colors. Mmm, mmm, delicious.